Virgo, son of queen for you, to be honest. Boy, that boy, the dog. So, whether you being honest with somebody or somebody being honest with you. All right, look, heart broke. In reverse, though, you, you over something or somebody over something with you. Look, judgment was called on the situation you were investing in. That made you real emotional once upon a time. Ace of Cups. Now, this judgment could bring, be bringing you emotions. Now, since it's upright, I'm going to say you blew the horn on a relationship now. So you feel good about the outcome of a situation or you feel good about what you're invested in now. Instead of what you were invested in previously, when you were holding on to something or when you were trying to force something, it's like it wasn't working no matter what you did. So you decided to be honest with yourself. Once you decided to be honest with yourself, judgment was called. And it's because it's like you finally let something go and that brought you emotions. That brought you a sense of feeling in some way, shape or form. Look, you put something down. You gave it up in a sense. You're being honest with yourself. Yeah, look, so, man, that's putting you on the path to go in a new direction in regards to how you express your passions or just how you invest yourself. Oh, see, the tower in reverse fell, though. See, um, it's like you may be trying to make something work now. It's like you being honest with yourself, but you it's like you don't want something to fall. You may not want to something to fall. It's like whether it's a relationship, you want this relationship to work because you feel like this relationship is it for you. You know it needs, you know you need to stop. You know this partnership isn't in alignment with what you have or this mindset isn't a good way to express my thoughts or invest myself. But for some reason, you can't put it down. For some reason, you want you, you still want to go in a new direction. Or you still want to just hand, look, go. It's like you want to change how you handle something because, because you don't want to stop investing in that. Yeah, look, something make you happy. That's why. You feel home somewhere. Something feels like home. And because something feels like home, why would you want it to fall? So you just going to figure, you're just coming up with a new idea or a new way to approach something or just a new way to handle something. If it's a mindset, then so be it. If it's just like a relationship or a partnership or some a friend group, you don't want to stop doing something. You know you should stop doing because it that's what makes you happy. That's what makes you feel in a sense. Look, you know you got to stop or once upon a time you emotionally walked away from something. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, look. Stop working on something. It's if it's like a relationship type situation, you don't want this relationship to end. You're trying to come up with a new idea on how to stop something from ending because you don't want it's like something has to end, but you don't want it to end. You don't want it to end, knowing it has it's over. It's like it's already over, but you don't want it to be over. You want to continue to invest in something, give your passion to something, or express something. Because this, you feel home here. You feel here. You feel in this space. But whatever this space is, is no longer investing in you. It's like it's already over, but you don't want it to be over. Because the tower is the tower, whether it's upright or reverse. It's just like you can't accept the tower. And you feel like you can do something else in order to stop whatever from happening from happening. But it's like it's already happening. Plastic bag. Hey, yo, listen, you know what that would mean to you. I can't tell you. Yo, look, plastic bag, are you serious? <laughs> It could just be as, uh, as simple as a mindset you have. It doesn't have to be a relationship type situation. Yeah, look, because it made you feel good. Why would you stop if whatever it was made you feel good? Ten of coins on the bottom. Something could have went the mile. 
This this is wild. Let me get the last one. Hold on. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey yo, and then the wheel of fortune in reverse on the bottom. This is your karma. It's like, you don't want to give something up that's already over because it was like your home. It was like your family. Anytime you invested here, it felt good. Every Anytime you invested here, you were up in a sense. But it's like, you may have been, it's like you may have been controlling or manipulating something to get here. And that is why something has ended. Someone may not be, wor if it's you versus someone outside of you, you like working with these friends or you like engaging in this relationship with this partner or this associate, this co-worker. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. And they're no longer, they, it's like they made you happy, but they're no longer working on a space with you. Because if something, it's like whether you were trying to control something or someone was controlling something outside of you. But, so it's like whether you, it's like you were trying to emo emotionally manipulate something because inside you didn't feel good. It's the Queen of Cups. You weren't feeling good inside, so you tried to control something. But when you were controlling it, it made you happy. But because you were controlling it, someone stopped investing in something. Whether you stopped investing in something or someone in this group or someone in like... Some of one of whoever these people were, all right? It doesn't have to be people. It could just be you stop expressing something that made you happy. You're trying to figure out how you could get that feeling back by changing how you approach something, but it's already over. You just don't want it to be over. And this is your karma for this. All because you didn't feel good inside. And you may be in a position where you can't stop thinking about it. Nothing feels better than listening to the music you love. Start using your thumbs on Pandora. Mm -hmm. But look how you was. I'm telling you, it's, you are you. you uh, <laughs> I'm going to fuck with you.